Let us quickly talk about Zari's situation with her family kinda low-key preferring Diamond Platinums over Shakib Lutaya for obvious reasons, not forgetting how the three, Zari, Shakib Lutaya and Diamond Platinums are terrible, pathetic and annoying liars. Let's dive into it. If you did not catch up to the trending story of a heated argument between Zari and Shakib Lutaya, well, the story centered around a confrontation that arose after Zari's ex, Diamond Platinums, made a surprise visit to their daughter Tifa's birthday party in South Africa. Now, the incident escalated when Shakib, who lives in Uganda, felt insecure about Diamond's presence at the event, suspecting that Zari might still have feelings for her ex. Now, we all know that Zari and Shakib have a thing going around. I wouldn't like calling them a uh, husband and wife because per the Google record, Ivan Semwanga is still the husband. But well, you know the things of nowadays. But during a live stream, Zari addressed Shakib's insecurities, questioning her relationship and bluntly asking Shakib, what do you bring to the table? Zari expressed her frustration over having to constantly prove her loyalty to Shakib despite choosing to be with him over other potential suitors. Well, Zari also emphasized that her relationship with Diamond is purely for comparing and insisted that I wouldn't like calling it marriage but her marriage to Shakib was intentional but his insecurities were straining their relationship. Save the word intentional because that's where the whole lies comes to be exposed. Now the internet in-laws took it to social media mostly on TikTok, dominated by Ugandans of course with a few South Africans, taking Shakib's side but also counseling Zari to really get herself straight because this that she was doing wasn't a thing. We also had a few more members from the online in-laws community or family you might call it, also coming in to call out Shakib for trying to have a relationship or marrying an older woman. Now before I bring in the expose, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and let me know your thoughts in the comments at the end of the video. So take a second guys to look into this whole matter. Don't you think that all this that happened, the heated argument taken to social media was all supposed to happen? Now before you get confused, let me explain. So Zari, an entrepreneur, Ugandan socialite based in South Africa, is a cast member of the famous Netflix show Young Famous and African. And guess who else is a cast member? Diamond Platinums himself. And a question in place, who could possibly be a new cast member of Young Famous and African? Take a wild guess. Shakib Lutaya, of course. Now, before you come for me, let me give you my receipts. It is remembered that on the 27th of April 2024, Zari revealed that she brought Shakib to the Young Famous and African, and she also enlightened that they had a wedding and their wedding rights were exclusively sold to Netflix. So, guess what? This whole thing might have just been a stunt for content for the Young Famous and African. Because let's not forget that the popular African reality show, Young Famous and African was renewed for a third season and according to reports from Netflix itself, the next season of the show was to debut in 2024 with production expected to start in late 2023. So there you have it. That is why I believe that the three Zari, Diamond and Shakib were playing on our minds as the super fans as they're trying to make catching money out of the scandals they are playing out to be happening. I recapped episode 9 of Netflix Young, Famous and African. So be sure to check it out as it's on your screen right here or check the link in the description. Peace out.